Hi everyone, my name is Agnes and this will be a review of Swallowing Mercury by Violeta Gregg that was translated from the Polish by Eliza Marciniak and it's one of the books that was long listed for this year's Man Booker International Prize. So the novel is uh, written as a series of interconnected vignettes set in a small rural um, village in Poland in the last decade of the communist era and it's a coming-of-age tale um, narrated by Viola, a young girl who goes through the changes of from childhood to adolescence in a turbulent time in Poland, uh, a time of significant political events and changes. Um, but these historical events in the novel are mostly just mentioned in passing and instead uh, the stories focus on the personal experiences of Viola, her family and the inner life of the village of Hectory uh, that uh, seems largely unaffected by what's happening in the country. For those of you who don't really know that much about the historical events that were happening in Poland at the time, I would suggest reading the translator's note before diving into the novel because it provides some much needed historical background. I really like the main character Viola. She's a curious and imaginative girl and the book gives us an opportunity to view the world from her naive perspective and sometimes she does not completely understand what's going on while we as readers uh, notice certain nuances and interpret the situations from uh, an adult's perspective. Although the book seems like a series of mostly charming, lyrically written, maybe even a bit nostalgic episodes from Viola's life in a small village, I like how the author um, manages to unexpectedly evoke a sense of underlying danger or confront the reader with something unsettling. This is also a good example where the author includes local folklore that actually serves a purpose not just to make the story more magical and quirky but by showing us how the lives of the villagers are influenced by a strange mix of Catholic belief and uh, superstitions. Overall, I enjoyed it, although I thought that the writing improved as the book went on. I'm not sure if these stories were written in sequence, but for me, one of the more moving scenes is described close to the end of the book, when Viola uh, imagines an incident from her father's life, from which there's this great quote, What a strange world this is, he said to me suddenly when the bus turned into Pulaski Street. Before I've even had time to blink, they're already calling me old, when inside I'm like an unripe fruit. I believe that's a sentiment many of us can relate to. And with that, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye!